Welcome to Bits and Buses, your fast lane for mastering industrial automation, one byte at a time. Modbus RTU versus Modbus TCP. What's the difference? Let's dive into Modbus RTU. Modbus RTU physical layer is serial. RS232 or RS485. The transmission method is binary data over serial cables. The RTU speed is relatively slow, limited by serial speeds. RTU covers longer distances, possible with the RS485. The topology is mostly point-to-point -point or simple multi-drop setup. Complexity is simpler, requiring only serial settings. RTU's reliability is very reliable and predictable timing. Common uses are industrial environments with legacy devices. Modbus RTU addresses slave ID from 1 to 247 message framing, includes CRC checksum for error detection. Now let's discuss Modbus TCP. Modbus TCP's physical layer is Ethernet, TCP IP network. The transmission method is encapsulated. Modbus frames over TCP packets. The TCP's speed is faster. Ethernet speeds. 10, 100, or 1,000 megabits per second. TCP distance is limited by Ethernet cable lengths. 100 meters per cable run, without switches, the topology is networked. Star, tree, and more using switches or routers. Setup complexity is more complex. Needs IP configuration? Modbus TCP reliability depends on network traffic and congestion. Its common use is modern industrial systems and smart factories. TCP addresses IP address, sometimes with unit ID message framing, is TCP IP handles, error checking. Modbus RTU is serial communication, ideal for short, direct connections, between a few devices like PLCs, sensors, and HMIs. Modbus TCP is Ethernet communication, better for networked environments with many devices and higher data transfer needs. Both use the same basic Modbus protocol, just different ways of physically delivering the data. Need more? Check the user manuals for full system details at icpdas-usa.com.